must know how to train fleas. And so my question in this uh, live presentation here in front of all of you folks, how many of you in this audience, and all I want you to do is be honest with me, how many of you do not know how to train fleas? Can I see your hands, please? <laughs> hey, you got here just in time. <laughs> I know you heard the one about the two fleas at the bottom of the hill and one of them says, well, do we walk or take a dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, you, uh, <laughs> you train fleas by putting them in a jar. And you put the top on the jar and you watch those fleas and they'll jump up and they'll hit the top over and over and over and over and over and over. You watch them jump. And finally, after they've been jumping a long time, you will notice that even though they continue to jump, all of a sudden they are no longer jumping high enough to hit the top. Then it's an absolute fact. You can just take the top off of the jar and they'll keep on jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping, but they cannot, I repeat, cannot jump out. You see, they have conditioned themselves to jump just so high. And once they've conditioned themselves to jump just so high, that's all there is. There ain't no more. Man is the same way. He starts out in life to climb the mountain, to write the book, to break the record, to do something with his life. But along the way, he bumps his head, he stubs his toe, and he becomes what I call a snipe. Now that's spelled S-N-I-O-P. And that's a person who is susceptible to the negative influence of other people.